Yeah, it was de deployed in 04, um, just south of Ramadi. Um, our Humvee was hit by a roadside bomb, IED. There was a gasoline attached to uh, about a 155 millimeters, 155 size round, and, and that's what detonated. How big is that? Yeah, pretty good size round, you know, not so high. A bullet that big? Man. Hit, hit the truck. Humvee. But it hit us, you know, it ripped through us. We were on fire. Uh, all five of us uh, were wounded. Three of us were medevaced out of country. Um, and, you know, the road to recovery per se began from that point forward. And, you know, fast forward years later, actually my older brother who just retired from the Air Force uh, bought me a set of clubs. You know, I used to play football, basketball, baseball. I used to do all that stuff, running and gunning and jumping and all that, you know. And no, now I play golf. My brother bought my clubs and and I, I say it's therapeutic. It's my it's my uh, uh, it's my me time. I've been having a bad day. I'll go to the range, smack a bucket of balls, and, and I'm in a good place again. Guys, two different branches of military service. What brings us together? Golf, serving the country, um, and and coming back in and finding recovery through sport. And that's a, a, a big impact the Semper Fi Fund has for all guys like us. You know, essentially getting hurt brought me to the game of golf. Yep. And essentially, I, I like to say it saved my life. Gentlemen. Oh, hello, wow. hello. Good happen? morning. We made it. Uh, yeah, we did it. <laughs> How about that Humvee? Is that our golf cart for the day? That I like it. Legit. Look, it's diesel. Yeah, it's right. diesel, right? It's a diesel. Nice, you wait. It's got a Slick, dude. This is so crazy. If you it's want to just... go through the gun turret, you can as well. The gun turret? Yeah. Whoa, that's crazy up here. And then do you actually spin this? We should go play golf at some point. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and then you're all back. <laughs> this guy rides <laughs> back. Never seen him roll before. Thank you. Appreciate that. I watched you roll that. Yeah. I'm gonna go put it in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, you know. If you would all do me a favor and just kind of come to the sound of the speakers, start to gather around. Are you guys ready to play some golf today? Yeah. Ow! All right. We're out here obviously supporting the military, supporting the Zip of Five Fund. Uh, we are the mighty presenting this, um, and, and we couldn't have been blessed with a, a more beautiful day. Uh, the Zip of Five Fund, uh, one of America's highest rated charities, um, is dedicated to providing urgently needed resources and support for combat, wounded, critically ill, and catastrophically injured service members and their family and they do it better than anyone in the country. So um, that's who you're supporting today. Uh, and their work does make a difference. Yes, sir. Man the myth. Here he is. What's up, brother? Eric? Mike Barrett. Nice to meet you, brother. Nice to meet you. Oh, and you bring your sunscreen. We'll find it. First shot of the it's day. Gone, Invitational, y'all. Get over there. into this. Yeah, I got the right flank covered. We're solid. Right flank, <laughs> right flank is covered. <laughs> Don't hit it over there. We're gonna send two up the right and two up the left. We're gonna the middle wide open. Oh <laughs> man. <laughs> <laughs> He's like this. This is from Hollywood. Let's get him. How you been? Good. I'm good. What's up, man? Yeah, Frank. Yeah. Yeah. Good, good to see you. Again. Good to see you. Yeah. I'll hit it down there for Look, you guys. Yeah. What's up, Frank? How are you? Yeah. How you doing, brother? Good to see you. Yeah. Pleasure. Yeah. Hey, what's up? What's up, man? Frank. Hit. Frank. Nice to meet you, yeah. Eric. All right. Hi, Evan. What's up? Nice to meet you. You guys want to drive one? Nope. Yeah. 
So oh, when, swing speed, what, looking at 130. Did, uh, some long drive competition. 148. Yeah, four time world champ. Hall four Famer. time yeah. world champ. Except, Hall of Famer. You hear that? Wait, on, Only man. one guy has more championships than me. Listen, uh, hang on. Yeah. You just Please said. Test them. You just said swing speed 148. Yeah, yeah 148. We just glossed that. With this club? That is outrageous. Can I see that before I swing? I might hurt myself, though. Do you guys hit first? Yeah, really? you will hurt yourself if I hit first. <laughs> <laughs> right down the middle. If you can't see it, it's a good job. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that is outrageous. That wow. Should be good. All right, let's go down. <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to wake up in the middle of the night tonight with sweats and be like <laughs> from the top. Ho, ho, okay, okay, ho. Drop that. Uh, yeah. From Alpha to Omega, VHS to Beta, PlayStation to Sega, my skill is still greater. The sickest thing since BD, wicked like BJ. Three, With my two, life crooked like the one, fire! We all suck. Because <laughs> we were talking about driving, mm -hmm. and you're saying it's pretty easy once you get used to it. Yeah. How long did it take to get used to driving? Oh gosh, uh, at least a couple of years. Uh, mm -hmm. Because in those first few years, there was a lot of. Uh, volume changes in in volume? my volume yeah in my residual limb so when when you have an amputation you know typically you go your body goes through an, an adjustment period and it changes sizes wow what's the most unexpected part of living now as a walking amputee Ooh, man that's a tough one uh the toughest part about living as an amputee all right I, i'd say not tough but a challenge is you know the day-to-day -day, something that i didn't expect was the the day-to-day -day, literally every single day logistics involved just to be able to function and be able to be able to walk and not be in a wheelchair uh, which you know some guys and gals they they ride their wheelchair you know for different reasons so it, everybody has their own you know set of issues they deal with but for me you know i like to be up upright i like to be walking and well my kids are a huge part of that it was more of a choice uh, between actually no it wasn't more more of a choice my wife said you're getting up and walking <laughs> you, you don't really right. you don't really have a say in the matter you're gonna get better and you're gonna get moving and you're gonna live life exactly how you did before right you know little ch small changes here and there but she was she was a huge she was the driving force uh, along with my family behind my getting up and being able to walk and function like i do right over the years um there there are days that it, it sucks so bad uh, and it's it's a matter of you know for me it's a matter of love and a little bit of mental fortitude and it's a, a kind of a mental toolbox that I've accumulated over the years uh, of actually seeking care uh, for mental health and physical health for that matter but it's a uh, I've got a toolbox that I reach into for when those times hit and it does suck right um, not only do I have that toolbox but I have uh, a pretty awesome support network that I could tap into as well. How, how much of a role does golf play in that kind of rehabilitation support network stuff? It's been huge because, you know, golf is one of the very few things that I can do 100% independently. And, and that's been, it, it's, it's been monumental in my recovery because they gave me that confidence back. It gave me that ability to, you know, also, and also work on my physical health simultaneously. Right. Because of everything that's involved with, involved with the golf swing and being on the golf course. So it's been, you know, I couldn't, I, I couldn't imagine my life without golf and being in, you know, where I am in my recovery without it. Who's going to go to Pebble Beach? The answer, the winner of Ace Cam. I think, I think Mike's on it here, let's see. Season 58 of Ace Cam. <laughs> season, episode 97 of season 222. Uh, <laughs> Oh. 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 oh, it's so pretty. Get up. Get up. Oh, oh, so short. It. Pebble Beach is sick. Hey, you know what? <laughs> okay, let's go to Pebble Beach anyway. <laughs> let's do it, guys. <laughs> oh, Eric. All right. Eric. Yeah. Watch out. Watch out. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, uh, did everybody go? I guess so. Anyway, that brings us to the end here. Our uh, T 
team has turned into a squad, which then turned into a a baby platoon, a tiny platoon, and uh, no one got a hole in one today.